Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry Chemistry Lab Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is a very interesting topic that is comparison of reactivity between water and hydrogen peroxide. Basic chemistry to application as is present we shall discuss. This hydrogen peroxide is actually a versatile molecule and today's discussion is divided in between six points. I request you please watch the video until the end. But before going to the main topic, one MCQ for you. I suggest everyone to try this question and write your answer in the comment box. Don't worry, at the end of the discussion, you will have the right answer with explanation. So first point, acidity comparison between hydrogen peroxide and water. So between hydrogen peroxide and water, obviously H2O2 is stronger acidic. Why? Because it has one additional oxygen which displaces minus I effect. Not only that, the lone pair of one oxygen is donated to the sigma star of this OH bond which results weakening of this OH bond and which ultimately shows higher acidity compared to water. How? So you can see here this is hydrogen peroxide. In this case, the antiform two hydrogen opposite are disfavored compared to the Gauche form. Why? Because the sigma star here and these lone pair of electron is donated into this sigma star. Okay. So in this way, delocalization happens and that is the driving force for this process. And this effect, as I told you, is called Gauche effect. And not only hydrogen peroxide, such kind of effect is observed in molecules like hydrazine. Now let's go to the next point that is boiling point comparison between hydrogen peroxide has higher boiling point than water. Actually hydrogen peroxide shows 150 degree boiling point whereas water 100 degree. Why? First of all the molecular weight of hydrogen peroxide is higher because of extra oxygen's presence. Even more hydrogen bonding possible because one, two, three, four lone pairs are present on hydrogen peroxide whereas only two lone pairs present in water molecule. Not only that, the dipole moment of hydrogen peroxide is higher compared to water means hydrogen peroxide is actually a more polar molecule than water. So overall thing results in case of hydrogen peroxide higher boiling point than water. Now let's go to the viscosity comparison. Similar like boiling point, viscosity of hydrogen peroxide is also higher. You, even its density also higher. Its density is 1.44 gram per cc, whereas water's density is nearly 1 gram per cc. And similar like boiling point, polarity, the side viscosity follow the similar trend. Now next part is a very interesting point that is the nucleophilicity comparison between hydrogen peroxide and water. Hydrogen peroxide is higher or better nucleophilic compared to water. Why? Because the two adjacent lone pair present in this oxygen atom of hydrogen peroxide molecule results in a lone pair lone pair repulsion or electron electron repulsion. So these adjacent lone pair lone pair repulsion is called alpha effect and these increases the energy of reactant molecule. Now if the energy of reactant molecule increases then energy of activation effectively decreases and we know the Arrhenius equation k is equal to a into e to the power minus ea by rt. So it increases if ea energy of activation decreases rate of reaction increases and how this hydrogen peroxide case energy of activation decreases because molecule is more reactive. So that's even we know that more reactive molecule participates or brings about reaction faster compared to less reactive. So uh, it will result faster reaction compared to water molecule. So what is the proof of this concept? Hydroboration oxidation of alkene. You can see this is an alkene double bond. It undergoes hydroboration with BH3 produces trialkyl borane. And the next step is called the oxidation. And here hydrogen peroxide acting as oxidizing agent. So here we have taken sodium hydroxide and here hydroxyl ion results with hydrogen peroxide and produces water and hydroperoxide ion, anion. So these hydroperoxide anion is a better nucleophilic compared to hydroxyl anion. That's why you can see this anion is acting this boron center which is actually Lewis acidic or six electron species and resulting this adduct formation later on by this alkyl group migration it results in boric acid and alcohol. So this reaction proves that hydrogen peroxide is a better nucleophile than water. Next point redox property comparison between water and hydrogen peroxide. 
Redox property is one of the important property of this hydrogen peroxide molecule. It is a redox active molecule. Why? Because the oxidation state of each oxygen in hydrogen peroxide is minus 1. Since the oxidation state is in between its two stable oxidation state like minus 2 and 0, that's why it is a redox active molecule. Actually, water is a very stable molecule. Oxygen is also so one third of planet is covered with water, nearly 21% atmosphere is oxygen. So, that's relatively stable molecule compared to hydrogen peroxide. So, if you add heat, radiation or any metal catalyst, it can decompose. And this decomposition is very interesting because this hydrogen peroxide, one case it got reduced to minus 2 oxidation state. In another case means water, another case it got oxidized to oxygen which is zero so in this case oxidation so same molecule is undergoing one case oxidation another case reduction so this is actually an example of disproportionation reaction it's a very unique example try to remember generally we have observed by the way that hydrogen peroxide act as oxidizing agent means minus one oxidation state goes to minus two and it oxidizes others so it's utilization as oxidizing agent so you can see here that this potassium iodide reacts with hydrogen peroxide produces KOH. Here iodide minus 1, hydrogen peroxide minus 1. In this case oxygen go minus 2, iodine 0. So you can clearly see this iodide got oxidized to iodine. Even the potassium ferrocyanide where the oxidation state of this iron is plus 2 got oxidized to plus 3 oxidation state by which hydrogen peroxide and hydrogen peroxide got reduced to water actually hydrogen peroxide is oxidizing other so it will be reduced exactly that thing you can see minus two minus two this example is not exactly an oxidizing behavior of hydrogen peroxide but it is a little different do not get confused that sir okay in this case chromium plus six oxidized to chromium here plus 10 no that's not true okay it is a different so should not get confused by this example that's why i mentioned this chromium pentoxide the chromium oxidation state is actually plus six and here four oxygens are attached by this peroxy linkage it is a butterfly structure so this is actually little different molecule here two peroxide are attached to this chromium center so by the way what i can say one oxidizing reagent like hydrogen peroxide produces another oxidizing reagent so we have understand the hydrogen peroxide's behavior as oxidizing agent but can it act as a reducing agent too yes it's possible why because hydrogen peroxide can go from its minus one oxidation state to zero means it's an oxidation since it undergo oxidation so it will reduce another look at here oxygen is zero oxidation state look at here minus two and in this case hydrogen it was minus one oxidation state it went to zero oxidized so hydrogen peroxide since oxidized so other one got reduced and that reduction happened because of hydrogen peroxide so hydrogen peroxide acting as reducing agent similarly for barium peroxide here oxidation state minus one hydrogen peroxide is minus one so what happened the barium peroxide fed reduced to oxidized minus two so reduction happened to barium peroxide because of hydrogen peroxide so it is acting here as reducing agent and it oxidized to oxygen zero oxidation state in case of KMnO4, manganese oxidation state plus 7 got reduced to plus 2. And who is responsible for this reduction? Hydrogen peroxide itself got oxidized. So, I guess you understand that hydrogen peroxide's behavior as reducing agent. So, why this thing have observed? So, what is the overall redox reaction? This is because hydrogen peroxide can act as both oxidizing as well as reducing agent depending upon the reaction condition or environment so if you give a very stronger oxidizing agent so that will oxidize hydrogen peroxide now next hydrogen peroxide's application in chemical reaction so hydrogen peroxide generally utilized as oxidizing reagent even during the covid time we have seen sanitizer uses hydrogen peroxide why because hydrogen peroxide produces reactive oxygen species which can kill the germs like coronavirus so here what hydrogen peroxide does sometime before we talk that hydrogen peroxide is not a stable molecule look at here in terms of heat radiation or metal catalyst it goes decomposed how it produces reactive oxygen species and by that way it decomposes look at here here fenton's reagent means iron 2 sulfate reacts with hydrogen peroxide by the way iron 2 sulfate exactly not it is actually green vitriol means iron sulfate seven water 
Generally, iron is not stable in plus 2 oxidation state except few examples like this green vitriol, ferrous sulphate or more salt where iron plus 2 is stable. Otherwise, iron plus 3 is stable and commonly observed. Now, here iron 2 plus first got oxidized by hydrogen peroxide. How can I understand? So, you can consider hydrogen peroxide like this and iron 2 plus which releases one electron and that is taken by this hydrogen peroxide molecule. So, one electron taken and this bond got broken just sometime before I told this bond is not stable because of this adjacent lone pair, lone pair repulsion or alpha effect. So, since it got electron it undergo decomposition. So, one part got one electron from hydroxyl, another part did not get an electron just its own share radical. So, this OH radical is actually the ROS. Not only that, in this case whatever Fe3 plus produced that react with hydrogen peroxide and got reduced by iron 2 plus and during this process it produces another molecule hydroperoxide radical. It is also another kind of ROS and by the way if you combine these two reaction you will see this iron 3 plus will be cancelled out from both side, iron 2 plus will be cancelled out remaining thing hydrogen peroxide two molecule produces one molecule hydroxyl radical one molecule hydroperoxide radical and water and by the way reactive oxygen species why they are reactive if you look at here this reactive oxygen species these oxygen has seven electron i mean i'm talking about this one why seven electrons so two electron from this oh bond bond pair two lone pairs so total six electron and one electron from this radical seven electron so it is incomplete octet molecule by the way oxygen is actually a very high electronegative atom so it is deficient of electron it is not stable that's why what it will do it will take electron from somewhere more accurately if i say it prefers to snatch electron from somewhere means it will oxidize somewhere now look at here this hydrogen is replaced by OH. So, you can consider the minus 1 oxidation state of carbon get oxidized to plus 1. So, this oxidation is happening because of hydrogen peroxide. By the way, ferrous sulphate, iron 2 plus, it is a reducing agent, it is not an oxidizing agent. So, do not get confused about this. So, this oxidation happened by hydrogen peroxide or more specifically if I say hydroxyl radical. Now, you may have a doubt, sir, why not these hydroperoxide radical react? If it reacts, what it will produce? PHOOH. So, this is also hydroperoxide, it is not stable. So, by chance, if some amount of this hydroperoxide produced, it will be broken down under the reaction condition and produce ultimately the phenol. So, such kind of reaction is utilized to purify the contaminant water or waste water. So, this is the utilization of phantom stager. By the way, it could be utilized for selective oxidation too. Look at here, it is a lactic acid or alpha hydroxy acid. Here one hydrogens are there. So, these two hydrogens are taken means oxidized to this keto derivative. It is called pyruvic acid. Why? Oxygen is 7 electron species. So, it takes electron from this oxygen and ultimately oxidize it to keto derivative. By the way, after keto formation, there is a conjugation. So, it is this hydroxyl radical oxidizes selectively to pyruvic acid. So, these are examples, but remember about one thing. This is not at all a selective reagent. It is a very reactive reagent and we know reactivity and selectivity inversely proportional. If one particular reagent is very reactive, it is generally expected that it will be less selective. So, care need to be taken while dealing with such kind of very reactive reagent. Now, what is the problem with hydrogen peroxide? The first problem as I told, excessive reactivity and unstability means Generally, in laboratory, we use 30 percent hydrogen peroxide. Pure hydrogen peroxide is not stable. Uh, it can decompose very faster and light, heat or metal ion can decompose it. In order to reduce its decomposition, some amount of acid is added to this hydrogen peroxide solution which act as an inhibitor or negative catalyst such that decomposition gets slower. And if it decomposes, it can produce this ROH radical which is dangerous. So, that is the main problem in the extra reactivity or lesser selectivity is the issue while handling hydrogen peroxide molecule. Not only this, in human body hydrogen peroxide is produced as an important reagent for cell signaling. However, because of some unhealthy lifestyle like stress, UV radiation, it can produce excess hydrogen peroxide. I repeat excess hydrogen peroxide. 
which can result in cell damage. Why? Because it produces the ROS and that ROS can damage cell DNA etc and that can cause accelerated aging. So that's why you should consume antioxidant with your food every day like vitamin C, vitamin E etc. Whether we've already discussed dedicated lectures on vitamin C or vitamin E, you may visit in order to get learned about them and how they can behave as antioxidizing agent or how they can save us from this reactive oxygen species. And the next point, hydrogen peroxide can decompose inside the storage bottle. I mean this 30% hydrogen peroxide solution slowly during its storage. Actually during my research time I have observed whenever I open the hydrogen peroxide bottle even in cold condition then also some amount of gas pressure I feel. So that is because this hydrogen peroxide got decomposed produces water and oxygen. So whenever you open this hydrogen peroxide bottle be careful and do it inside a few mode and the bottom lid should be kept outwards of your face such that if some amount of gas stored there under pressure it should not come to you or damage you and always wear safety goggles and apron while you work with this reagent. Let's come back to our MCQ. Here what I have taken THCOCl by the way this is acid chloride so this carbon is extremely reactive means it's a very good electrophile. Agree. So it's the electrophilic reagent and this, this is barium peroxide means you can consider Ba2 plus plus it's a peroxide dianion. How can you compare? If you look at hydrogen peroxide and if you remove two proton so then this peroxide will be produced. Just some time before we have studied that peroxide is a very reactive molecule so it's a better nucleophile yes so that's why it participates in this acyl nucleophilic substitution reaction. By the way, I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on the mechanism of this. You may visit if you want to learn more. So it will react and it will produce first this molecule PHCOOO minus. By the way, another peroxide means anion still remaining. So it will react again. So another second acyl nucleophilic substitution. It will open up, come back. It will come. So it will result in benzoyl peroxide. So this is the answer double acyl nucleophilic substitution. Now this benzoyl peroxide is actually a very good molecule. It acts as a radical initiator in organic chemistry. How? Just sometime before I told the alpha effect adjacent lone pair lone pair repulsion peroxides are not stable. By the way this benzoyl peroxide is relatively more stable. Why? Because two electron withdrawing group attached with this. By the way I've already discussed a dedicated lecture about the relative stability comparison of peroxides. So you may visit for further learning this concept. So it is not stable. So if you give light, irradiation or heat, these undergo breakage, homolytic cleavage. So it produces two molecules of this radical and these two molecules of radical further undergo decarboxylation. By the way, it is a radical not an ion. So it will come here, it will come here, it will go. So two phenyl radical and plus two carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide comes out and this phenyl radical initiates any radical mediated reaction. For example, this anti of addition, polymerization, etc. reaction. So what is the answer? Answer is option C. Be very careful while choosing the option. PHCO was there, two oxygen were attached. So one side PHCO, another side PHCO and in between two oxygen. In this way, try to find out the answer. It will be more accurate. Otherwise, during the exam hall, under the exam stress, you may get confused sir, how many oxygen I am getting confused and you end up choosing the wrong answer. And by the way, this answer is not possible. Why? No water, no workup I have written. Peroxybenzoic acid formation is not possible. So, it is a wrong answer. Do not get confused. So, option C is the right answer. So, this is the overall discussion. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.